Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let me welcome you to today's show, where a professional backgammon player, myself, me, Justin Knoll, plays his wife in a match of backgammon. We will be playing a seven-point match today, and the loser will be making dinner. If you like content like this, please like the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in backgammon lessons with me, please feel free to contact me at backgammonuniversity at gmail.com. And on with the show. 64. <laughs> We're in a seven point match, I accept. Good game, baby. Good luck. <laughs> oh, <yes>. <laughs> <laughs> There's your die. Much banter between us. Ugh. Yes. I met my wife playing backgammon, actually. We met mm -hmm. in Bryant Park. Uh, I was sitting waiting for a cash game. Nobody was there. And uh, she walked by me sitting in front of a backgammon board and asked me if I played backgammon. I do. I do play backgammon. <laughs> Double threes. She should start off by making the five point and then figure out what to do with the rest of them. I feel like a lot of mistakes beginner and intermediate players make are more move order problems than anything else. Mm -hmm. We can see that she's looking at making the five, but then sees that she's leaving a blot on the eight. But you can cover it with the, uh, the checker on the 11 point. So if you just play 11 to eight, eight to five uh, twice, and figure out what you do with the other three, it would be impossible to make a blunder. The five point is more important than the seven point by a wide margin. Oh! <laughs> three one makes the five. Four two makes the four. You scared all the viewers at home for a second. <laughs> it took so long for you to make the four point. I thought you were. I don't know. Good. I feel like should, is there something else I should be doing? Four one makes the seven. Six five. So when we look at the XG readout here, it says negative uh, 1.000, which means it doesn't matter what play she makes, uh, every play is a double and a pass afterwards. Now, if you're going to take, you should play two down though, okay? Just to note, it would be the best play if you plan on taking. Um... She's trying to find a way to take, right? She's looking for a play. I'm sure she's looking at attacking and making the two or making the one. But it's generally a good idea to try to build solid structure. And uh, when you're in a priming position, just try to play to improve your prime. But uh, here I go into the tank a bit. Mm. Obviously, I do not have access to XG during the match, so I'm not sure if it's good enough. No part of me thinks that she's passing. My wife is Greek Cypriot, and they do not like to pass cubes there. It's just not the... Uh... No pressure. <laughs> and a part of me is seeing ghosts a little bit. I'm seeing numbers like six, five, or, and then maybe she just makes the five point, and then I have two checkers back behind a five prime as well. <laughs> uh, what I'm failing to notice is that anytime she doesn't make the five on the next roll, her position just collapses. So I recognize this is a moment to cube. 
but um, I'm not sure. And I missed it. I rolled what likely is my best roll. I'm not even sure hitting numbers are better. And now I've lost my market by a mile. But don't tell the wife. Double. <laughs> and it is a monster pass now. She has two checkers behind a five prime with no anchor. And I also have the 20 point anchor on the other side of the board. And you can tell that she knows it's a bad take. I have to hit the clock for it to be legal. But she can't help it. And I told her to hit the clock before she changed her <laughs> I mind. Know, I know. Every time the double man, this should never accept. But it's no, it's correct. not true. Go ahead and. We're not here now. trying to find a way to keep my checkers diversified. I think the computer thinks the best play is to come into the five point and play the three down, though I'm not exactly sure why. There's a step one of the destruction of Justin. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she normally beats me. I roll something stupid, she anchors, then pops double sixes, and then I cry about it until the next time we play. <laughs> uh. My wife is a doctor. She doesn't study backgammon, so we play sporadically, to say the least, and... She doesn't necessarily have an interest in studying. She just kind of likes to play. And she's picked up some things along the way just with our matches. Oh, oh I just got out the way. She rolls 6-4. She would have hit me if I didn't play that ace. She sees it. She makes both home board points. There are better plays for distribution, but this gives her good counterattacking opportunities if I'm able to just jump off my anchor with one checker, which I probably wouldn't do anyway. All right, let's go again. Two one should slot the four and play two to one for the good distribution for later. She's not down in the race, so Good distribution plays pay dividends. I just rolled a 6-3, and I'm not running off my anchor. I'm just playing my spares there. I want to wait until more of those spares are behind me, so it'll be safer for me to jump off later. She correctly plays this to the one point. Double fives. Let's go. And I'm trying to play things in the correct move order, like I said before. It feels like these three are forced, and now I want to think about what to do with the next one. Either play to the five point or make the ten. And we can see that uh, this edges it out. Not that there's a big difference in either play, but I try to stick to my word, where I want to play things in the order of importance. Double ones makes the five point. <laughs> Five three clears the outside point. Your side of the board, please. On your side of the board, please. <laughs> the troll. I love it. I'm going to be quiet sometimes for the banter over the board, I, I think it's fun to listen to. 2-1 makes the point. And since her sixes hop out, um, because there's no more sixes for her to play, I'm thinking whether or not I want to keep the spares there for if she hops out, 
or if I want to play seven to six just in case I roll double sixes next time and I, I don't want to leave a shot, right? So I do choose this play. Knowing if she hops out, I've got a lot of opportunities to attack her anyway. She doesn't hop out. And now I want to play these spares before I let her hop out because the race is really close, right? It's not like um, I'm up by a million. The race is fairly even and I don't want her to catch up yet. Four, three. <laughs> Normally I let her roll on my side, but due to the recording of it and then transcription of it, it would have made things more difficult than they needed to be for me. Or so I wanted her to believe. <laughs> Shot time. That's, that's never stopped you before. <laughs> Five one, how about that? No! She always hits me. This is where I fan and lose. You hit the clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so Double pissed. Fan. I always get hit. Okay, it's only a small number. So, here. Enter, you son of a monkey's uncle. Uh, Five and the three needs to hit immediately. You can't worry about getting hit back because you can't let her just hop out on, three. and start controlling the outfield and start whacking you around, right? You just clock. put her on the, the roof. Clock. Six, one. Okay. The six is forced and then we think about lifting the ace. And my thought was if she rolls a three and then I fan and then she rolls a six and I have two on the roof, that's not going to be good for my equity. So I might as well just lift, fade the three, and then try to pick up the second. Oh, I thought I saw the clock. <laughs> Learn on this? Mm. Six. Six. Okay. Yeah, they do want to see you crush me, I'm sure of it. Hit the clock. 2-1. Ooh, so I could make the three-pointer, I could take two off. But generally, when the other side's board is as badly crunched as hers is, you tend to play more aggressively by just ripping checkers off, even if it leaves some shot with others. She's never played on a clock before, so uh, I, I remind her a bit to hit it because I don't want her to accidentally lose a lot of time for no reason. Come on, give me Come the on. gamble. Two ones. Big doubles. Big doubles. Six two. Oh ah. my god. <laughs> doubles. Oh, come on, give it to me. Shamala, Hamala. Oh, five one. Two, three, four, five, six. I think everything is okay. Double. Oh. Everything gets off. Why what? <laughs> there you go. Two Don't touch the clock. By the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Every person has accidentally reset this clock. Oh yeah, the clock is a little finicky. Like, oh, let me touch it. When I pause it, if you press the red button in the center again, it resets the whole clock, so. Be careful with these Kronos clocks when playing you get it, you get matches when you need to pause them in between games. Yeah. Is it your no. no. Just press the silver button. Silver buttons. Right, let's get it. Two one slots. Five three just makes the three point. My 
five two miserably is forced to make the three now since I can't cover and make the five. Good play. Six one makes the five point. If all my numbers play, play themselves, I'm going to be doing pretty good. Good play. 4-3. My three splits instead of my four, because I don't want to come into the contact with the, the check on the 11 points. Double six. So she should just make the ace point, play two from the 13 all the way and just attack on the one and hope that I fan. I don't know if she sees it. Did you see it, Elena? You saw that you could make the one point. Why didn't you do it? You didn't want to make it too easy for me. Well, thank you. Appreciated. <laughs> I rolled boxes. Oh no. I thought I was dead here. And this is like a, a style of play. You know, the double hit should be happening here. You should just cover the one point and then play eight to four. Just hitting loose. And missing this play is massive. It's a PR killer if you don't find it. So seven to one and eight to four. No. I was so happy. I mean, look at how this 5-1 plays now. I get to make the 20-point anchor versus me just having one in and possibly no, facing six one. Six one. a cube. Sold. Sold. <laughs> Sold I mean, I was, I was nervous she was going to find the double hit play. Absolutely nervous. I think I held my breath the entire time, actually. And now I'm in a spot where after this play, I think I'm going to double. Mm, One of the cues I, I, I use, and it's more difficult because I'm, I'm leading here, but generally when I own both five points, uh, my, my brain starts wandering towards uh, where's the cube, where's the cube, where's the cube? <laughs> she just comes double right twos, in. that's a good number. Six four hops out with both. So I thought I saw double fives. <laughs> One tiny height. Gotta block the double fives. Okay. <laughs> she mentioned like the only number that really kills me. I go, oh yeah, I gotta block the double fives. Although I'm sure she'll still take it, but at least it's not necessarily winning anymore. That's crazy. Yeah, but for what? Six. I don't have 
have to come out, do I? Yeah, I don't suggest hopping out into that. That's true. I generally don't suggest breaking your board either, so it, it just looks a bit too gammonish. Everything you roll tries to hit me. Except that it doesn't. Except that it doesn't. Six one makes the seven. I'm trying to hold on, get her to break her board a bit more before I let her out. So I'm just going to cover the one and play six to four. I want you to break my board. Even my heart. There we go. <laughs> Six three. I'm breaking not the way I want to. Playing checkers behind the anchor and then stacking. Wow. Up. Uh, five six. Six five is forced to run. I do want to hit her with most numbers here, but five four doesn't do it. And I'm nervous, of course, that she's just gonna roll what she's asking for. Double ones, wrong side of the dice. Six three. No, thank you. No. And look how big this mistake would be to not cross over here. 165 milli points. That's a very good play. I can see a lot of people not playing in there. And by a lot, I mean a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Take two off. I did it too early. I did it too early. <laughs> Double holds, come on! Oh, Five four. Like it. Two one. Two one. Okay, not happy. <laughs> I played from four to two, but it looks better to play from three to one. It doesn't end up being that much of an error. I think only 3% on higher analysis, but it's interesting to see they'd rather have the checker on uh, the one point. I just played off of the highest point kind of automatically without thinking. And when you do something without thinking, <laughs> that's when mistakes can happen. Oh my God. Every double does it, ones through sixes. Shamala, shamala. I mean, I say the shamala, shamala. Oh! That one hit hard. Okay, I see, I see, I see. I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to knock me out. So far, so good. <laughs> trying to get that free dinner. Date number two, remember that one? Date number two. Free dinner date. You've been having free dinner for far too long. <laughs> On date two, she after she beat me the first night we met, she decided to bet me dinner that she could beat me again, and I got my um, my free dinner that day. Remember that, Ellen? <laughs> no reaction. None. None. No reaction. <laughs> At least the reaction wasn't violent. I. <laughs> 3 1 enters and attacks. 2 6 misses but makes the 7. 6 4 just covers. And then I play 24 to 20. I don't want to expose anybody else. I'm just trying to make an advanced anchor and try to get everybody out of dodge. 
just seems constructive without any real risk. I mean, without any additional risk at least. Six five makes the 18, good number, better play. I'm happy to roll my two here. I'm leading four points in the match, so the value of this anchor to me just basically stops all of the potential gamuts that could happen against me in their tracks, which is all I really want. If she ever gains some sort of advantage in this game, I want to be able to easily take the cube without the fear of getting gammons. So I was really pleased with that too. And the two plays for me here are this or slotting the three point. I went with slotting the three because it just looked like it started a better point with better distribution, not too deep. And it would be a better part of my prime than the two point would be in the future. Double sixes, let's go. With numbers like these, you don't need to play well. It helps though. <laughs> they stop laughing over there. It's not that funny. <laughs> And I'm thinking about the cube here. Let's press the plus button, see what happens. And it's only a double by 0 0.006. I'm up four points in a match to seven. I know I'm up 19 pips in an 18 point holding game. For money, this is like a pretty clear cube with the racing lead. Um, I just didn't really feel like it at the score. I was hoping maybe something would get a little bit better. And then I could double. But after 6-5, I just felt like I started losing ground in the race as well. And so I was happy that I hadn't turned the cube over. Because I don't really want to be facing uh, a recube to four at any point in this game with some miracle doubles. I'm kind of fine getting to a stronger point or if that doesn't happen, you know? Like, I, I don't mind just picking up a point or two, but I do not want to be facing a four cube in this game. But this is a pretty stable position where if you do have a significant lead, you do really have quite a few winning chances in these, in these holding games when you're up enough in the race, which is why it's okay to cube because your, your winning chances can be like around 75%, so with a significant racing lead. But we can see my lead is diminishing, which is like making my winning chances less and less and less. Six, three, three. And I'm just stopping to take account of the race again. I see I'm only up nine pips, right? It's not even 10%, so I'm just gonna roll. And six, four, six comes here. I guess the four could also go to the ace here and just prepare for better distribution in the race. It's not like she's going to be volunteering me a shot, right? So it's better to have a check on the ace. I don't really need the structure, just better distribution for when we break into a race. And she has double threes here. And the question of whether or not to break off the 18 is generally a question of how close is the race after the play. Me out. <laughs> so I'm not sure if she was counting the race. I'm not sure if she thought she was ahead or behind. She's left the kitchen, I can't ask. That puts pressure on me. But not being able to take account of the race in the middle of a game is a huge detriment to understanding what game plan you should be taking on a particular play, right? Because if you're up in the race, you should be racing and making this sort of play. But if you're down in the race, you should be staying back for the contact. Oh. 
And now I'm assessing the race and I see I'm only up seven pips. And for me, it doesn't really feel like enough yet, right? There's still contact there and I'm not even completely confident I would double this for money. Only being up seven pips, the point of last take is 11 pips, right? Even if there was no contact. So because of the contact, I don't really see the value in it yet. I want a bit more of a racing lead. Huh? Four one below average. Five one, she picks up a pip on me. She covers this and goes to the ace. It's fine. Six one. Two one, and after this, I'm thinking cube. Her contact isn't great contact, only being three away, and I think I have enough of a lead in the race that if I'm able to clear that outside point, it, it would be a pass. And if we look at this, it's a no double by point zero zero six. It's fine. As long as I win, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> if I end up losing the game, I'm going to be like, oh, why did I? <laughs> but we can see it's, it's, a, it's a clear cube now in a straight race. You know I'm just going to accept it because I'm crazy. I might as well have just done it 10 rounds ago. You have to save time on the clock. <laughs> Six four clear. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like I counted. <laughs> Even though I've counted five times. Do I double you back? No, <laughs> oh, I missed it. After that 2-1, I feel like I've definitely missed that. 4-1. Oh, shit. 5-4. Mm. Come on. I think I'm a disadvantage rolling this side. 3-2. I'm doing something wrong with the back camera world. 6-4. Double sixes, double fives, whatever. Just give me some doubles. 3-1. <laughs> this is not what I need. 5-4. Oh, I'm going to be really upset. 6-5. Smaller numbers, please. No, for her, not for me. Three, six. Six, four. Four, two. Six, four. All right, I'm doing good. No, no, don't come on. Double threes. Yeah. Three, one, okay. So are you, double threes. Come on, give it. Yeah, but nothing. You rolled it. Oh, phew. 
One, two, three. Clock. Three, two. Oh, no. This is a double, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead, please. You get one roll to win, and uh, you're, you're gonna double me. Maybe. I hope not. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, I hope not. Five, one. So she should make a play that allows her the most that's opportunity to win on the next roll if I don't get off next time. She'll always be able to get off with double sixes. She should try to find double fives. So I think I... You don't get double fives that way, baby. This way you get like double that. fives. Just roll something with a one. That's not a double. Whew. Oh, this is traumatic. What we six next? So that means we can't double each other, right? Exactly. Okay. This is my chance to win. Let's go. I need to. I need to gamble you. I think it's possible. Yeah, but that would still only garner you two points. Yeah, but then I'm back in the game. Back in it. I'm back in the game. Back in this the is game. terrible. <laughs> it's like you're better than me or something. Wow. Listen, don't, don't, don't give me any. Don't give me anybody to suit you. You've never rolled this one yeah. in life. That's true. Still doing it all for sure. Three two. Three one and that's the five. Yeah, that's a good one. That's really good. I'm out. I love this play. Double fours? No. Duplicating the four. And even then. A single four is too good if you ask me. I get hit though, so I'm not so pleased. <laughs> three, two. Decide to make the 11 here. Structure on the outside, trying to contain the back guys. Four, three should double hit. They should play the four down and hit on the three point. This is the second double hit she's missed, but these double hitting plays are, are really common uh, and it swings a lot and it's actually safer to double hit a lot of times than it is to just single hit over the block somewhere. But she decided to hit and then pick it up, which isn't very good. Hmm. You know, if I rolled two six after the double hit, I would still have one guy on the roof. She would have good distribution and she would be blitzing me and I would be very uncomfortable. But now. You know, if you don't force the other player to roll well, you can't be surprised when most of my numbers end up working for some capacity, right? You have to give me the opportunity to roll poorly, and oftentimes that means put me on the roof. Should have made the anchor. This isn't too crazy. Six three should make the fifteen. Ooh. Ah, she sees it. Good. She spots it. Fancy. Very nice. She's up in the race, so she doesn't want to keep contact. She wants to disengage and get her back checkers as far forward as possible. Six three makes the five point, of course. I was considering hopping out or stepping up, but I'm not up in the race. Six two. She makes a very good play here, I think. Let's see. Yeah, good, good play. I was thinking about playing the 15, uh, 13, 15, nine play, breaking that other point, but this play's better. And six three. 
I step up again, maybe, maybe not. I end up slotting the four, I think. Yeah. I get in the mindset of staying back. Oh, oh there we go. Six one makes the seven. Four, not ideal, covers and slots the three. Six, five. Good play. Three, four. My three covers. My four, I slotted the two. They wanted me to bring the guy in, but it, no. it's not worth much. Double fours. One six, so the six. I'm looking at hopping out, but I, I'm, I see I'm getting killed in the race. Uh, of course, I'm just down by a trillion here. I say a trillion, which is an exaggeration. <laughs> um, so the six covers, and I think immediately after I make this play, or maybe a few seconds after, I see that... I, you hear me say it? I should have stepped up with the ace. Yeah, I just made an ace afterwards. In my own mind, I said I'm not up enough. But stepping up with that ace is big because you never know. I could just roll like 6-5 or double sixes next time and be able to get out. Whereas if I roll double sixes the other time, I'm still stuck behind the prime and I could be in big trouble. Double ones. Step one, we make this. And I think they like breaking off the 11 point a little better, just in case I roll six one, we get double shots on me on the outside. One, three. And here, I, I, I don't know why, but I didn't even really consider stepping up. Uh, I should have. First three play themselves. Do we take one off or do we clear the six? Take a guy off or clear the six? And this is the safer play that wins more games. All she really wants to do is win this game here and not take any risks in doing so. So she can get to the next game and just offer me a, a cube and continue to play on. Double six, good roll. Put a checker on the ace because I don't have a checker there. Five four. So I'm off the gammon, but can I win? Tonight, though. Yeah. Like you can't go another day. Looks like I'm pretty lost. <laughs> Don't make me nervous. Yeah. 
I'm going to need more dice and for her to stop rolling. Confident yet? <laughs> best guy, best guy. <laughs> I think it's still technically right, possible, okay, but not guy, after double guy, five. Not guy. after double five. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, one, 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 get a point. Let's go, let's go. Post Crawford. You, you did roll well, though. I'm play better than me. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know yet. So she let's should see. be doubling immediately at the score. Yes. I might incorrectly take when I should be passing. You never know. At these six away scores, four away scores, two away scores, we have basically a free drop where if I don't have any advantage in the position at all, I, I should be just straight up passing these and just starting another game. And then at the autoway scores, I should just be taking all of them, in theory. We'll see here on the left-hand side, sorry, on the right-hand side, it said minus 1.000 again, which means if she doubles me, I should be passing, which I would do, but she can't give me the opportunity to make the mistake of taking if she doesn't give me the cube, right? So 6-2, right? She should be doubling this as well, because anytime she rolls a 4... I could be getting gammoned. And she misses. And now I'm right back in this game where, I mean, I wouldn't say right back, but I'm, I'm in it where she would have already gotten the point. Right? Double sixes. Wow. And now if you double me, I can take this. I'm a favorite. Ah. Ah. But you should still cube. You should still cube, by the way. So every one of these is, is a missed double. The only thing that uh, varies is the size of the cube, right? And I play the other two down, I think, just trying to aim everybody at making the five point. Shaking the hat, see that and she notices that she missed uh, a bunch of cubes. And she could have gotten a point out of uh, most of the early part of the game's positions before I rolled double sixes. And now she oh, gives you? it to me, You're and I take. Position. Now I, now I am. Or I'm a, a massive three, favorite. Roll three, one. I think I should like pass. Now I'm doing good. Force your opponent to make mistakes. Give them those cubes. Force them to know how to play at these different scores. And I would just play both of those in. But I think she tricks herself into playing something a, a little funny looking. Yeah, this looks a little funnier. Four, three fills in three. get into another one of these holding game positions where she's behind a six prime and I'm just trying to bear in without leaving a shot. And I'm just looking to see like what doubles might leave a shot on the next roll. And I see that double sixes doesn't leave a shot because two of them don't play from the eight point, so it's huh? fine to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And double fives that. plays fine as well. Big numbers. Her PR is under a 10 now, right? She's had a few solid games. And those missed cubes didn't hurt her too much, though they are a big conceptual mistake, not noticing the... Uh, 
not noticing those cubes. Big numbers. And five, three, I can't play the spares. I'm trying to figure out a way to do it, but I can't. I don't want to let her out yet. Her board's not broken enough. Right, come on, I just need double sixes. I need to get the hell out of here. Double sixes? That's not too much to ask, right? Yeah, I'm not used to win. I'm not too <laughs> Oh, double fives. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> what oh the my fuck God. is that number? Number two. Or oh, is it two? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, there's one, two, three, four. I'm not pleased. Yeah. So one, two. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. What is that voodoo just calling your numbers? I don't want double five, just a single five. No, yeah. no there's no fives left for you. <gasps> I didn't want you to get in there. Slot the deuce, try to make it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Allow him to come to no, me. No, you just go six, six. I see. Allow no her to come to me. Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, a little one, salty six number. One. Six so five. You need to hit me, so just leave it there. No, that's crazy. I don't know what I want this. All right, seven. seven. No numbers. A seven. Four one. Right. Well, cover. I'll give you a seven. I'll show you a seven. Show me a seven. Show you a seven. Oh, Roll a seven. <laughs> Roll a seven. Shit. Six. One, two, three, four. How did you win this game? Low numbers! Low numbers! Boxes, baby! One, two, three, four. Good enough. One, two, let's go. Ah! Yeah, just relax. No, it's not relaxed. <laughs> Low numbers. Boxes, baby! Let's go. Oh, come on, I was garbage. I couldn't even cross over and take one off. Six, four. Sorry. It's all right, it's better for you this way. Close cousin to the number I wanted. You're running out of time, baby. I know. Two, three. Oh, man. Oh. Double ones, okay. There's a chance, no. is there? Let's Take go. It. Come on. Because I have no choice. Oh, nah. come on. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the game. Until I run out of time. You still have plenty of time. You just use the delay time, be, yeah? I Double fives. Unbelievable. <laughs> Live dice are rigged. Live are dice are rigged. I mean, I just don't know how you win a game like that. Yeah, it's disgusting. Six five. Double, fi that is double fives. Double fives. What are you going to do? Cry a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think you should go to Vegas. <laughs> no Vegas for you. Well, uh, that's what you always like. No Vegas. You've only gone to Vegas. Yes, yes, yes. Right. You only get to go once in a lifetime. Once like in a lifetime. <laughs> On the board. I'm too nervous. I've got too much energy now. Go on then. 6 4. So the best play here is just to run at the score instead of the splitting or two point making plays. I only need one point, so I, I lose the value of gamins. Hope it hasn't messed up your board. And the running play generally wins more games. So she should double me here too. Right, she's four away. All of these are just doubles and passes. She made the five point. I've got nothing. She's a favorite in the game. It's a double and a pass. Double and a pass. There she should have hit me. And double fives just puts me right back in the game. Boom. Easy peasy. One of these. What is this? How do you get to just call your numbers? When you are a wizard. If she had cubed me, 
I would be in so much more trouble. Six five. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. Now she doubles when it's like almost too good probably, right? So if she had given me the cube at the beginning of that game and the exact same sequence happens, double five, she enters, double fours, followed by six five fan, she could just win the match right then and there, right? But because of that, oh, that's huge. she only got one point. Don't miss those cubes. Six, four points. Now she's at a three away score. If she cubes me, uh, I can just take almost any time at this score. But a lot of people wait and try to trick the person into passing when it's still a take. Six four just runs. Three, four misses. She anchors and plays the four down. She should still be doubling, by the way. Six, five runs all the way. You put your hand over the top of the cup, the dice don't fly out. I'll be quiet, you. One. Double twos. Another reason to double me. Hey, that's cheating. One, two, three, two, three, four. four. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. Roll. Three, and you could step all the way up, but I look at the stack on the 13 point and I decide to play 13 11. It's a little mistake, I think. Yeah. Not big, but I saw the stack and wanted to develop it where my priority should probably be just trying to extract the back checker and not exposing another blot, but it was hard to leave six checkers on the 14 point. She should double me again, of course. Now she rolls six, five, which points on the three point. Double ones, enters, makes the five, step up. She should double me again. What's this, six, two? Make the seven. Six one hits. And I don't know why I talked myself into putting it back and playing 11 to five. I thought there was a reason. Something about my threes probably hitting on the three point and my threes to step up, I, I thought was why I talked myself into the other play. If I put a checker on the six and she's on the three, if I have roll a pointing number, it might be better to have a guy there, but Alas, not the case here, right? She should be doubling me again. That hit on the deuce was also not good. You want me to stay back there and you missed a cube again and now you rolled the nuts. And now I'm on the roof against a uh, four point board until she makes the five point, which I hope she does. Yes, now I'm on the roof against a five point board and a full six prime. And I'm laughing because the cube is in the center. Right, And when I said everything at this score is a take, well, not if I'm on the roof behind a six prime, right? Like, this is just crazy, which is why she should have cued me to begin with, because then she could be playing to win the entire match for a gammon. You know, some advanced players play to trick the other person into passing, but sometimes you can trick yourself. Never pass one of these in my life at, at this score. I don't know. We'll see. If 
That's a take. I need that. It belongs in a book. <laughs> Against, I don't know, when you should have, when she's rolling out of her ass. Uh, you got your point? No. Great, it's come back in history. Uh, one away, two away. Which means uh, she's able to get a free drop here if she has some sort of advantage after my initial roll. But after double threes, I'm taking everything. Still a double, though. Still a take. Makes the seven. Six, four. I make the two or make the four. If I do this though, I've got a giant stack on the six point and no one's on the roof. Here I get rid of one of the guys on the six and put her on the roof. If she rolls two six, I'm doing good. Makes the five. Why not again? Four six. Field goal, misses me. Five, three points. Let's go for the good guys. Four sets. Four sets. One, six, okay. Be quiet. <laughs> Plays to the deuce. I'm a little chatty now because I'm feeling confident, but you never know in this silly game. I should just double you, know? Then I can, no, it could be six, six. Good. I can play open. She's got no points on her board and a block there. I can play aggressively by having multiple checkers on the outside. 6-2. Six, I don't know what I should do because this is like wild. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is crazy. And I'm running out of time. 30 seconds. <gasps> I don't know what I'm doing is Good play. Good play. 5-1. The ace hits. And my five... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should attack on the ace point due to the weakness of the other side of the board and the blot. And I've got a lot of indirect numbers that cover. but I do choose to hop out instead. Cool. I thought this one more, it does not. Double sixes makes the ace, let's go. And then, double four. Can I do it? Yeah. I'll pause the clock for her, make sure she doesn't lose on time. I want her to lose, but not on time. Five, three, oh, this is terrible. Three, four. I need good fives and sixes to hop out. I also want my fives to attack on the four point, so I unduplicate the five by playing the four to the five point. I know that sounds like garbly goop, but that's, uh, that's the reason why I made that play. So the ones, twos, and fours can attack on the four. My fives and sixes can hop out over the uh, structure. The ace hits and the three comes down to give myself a cover. I'm not lifting to the one. I want Double to make balls, this at the jokes. board. Five no one jokes. fans. No Six three. I'm like, oh, should I hop out? But no, of course not. I just need to cover. Tons of numbers hop out. And now she sees the cube, right? But she still has two on the roof against a five-point board, so I have to take. Like I she jumped, fans. I could have covered at the same time. Man. And I roll six four. Thank goodness. How funny is that number? Yeah, there is. Four one. No, six five. Thank goodness. 
Ah. Oh. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And if you like content like this, uh, you know, feel free to leave a message below as well. Now it comes. And uh, feel free to send me an email if you'd like lessons. That played pretty good. And so did she. Eight and a half. But yeah, so far. I probably did massive blunders on that last one, Amy. <laughs> so basically, you're just supposed to double. Right, like, I know. Uh, well, immediately, I'm though, immediately, though. I know, but I'm not used to these things. Like, there's sometimes you could have just gained points in games that you, like, were, like, almost losing. Until she fixes a few of those and remembers yeah, that and a few of these double hit positions. She could take this eight and a half down quite a bit. All right. Loser makes dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow.